What is up folks, Billy the Kid here coming at you with another toy review and today we're taking a look at NECA's Rhino Alien based off the Kenner line that I grew up with as a kid. In fact, it's one of those lines that kept me as a toy collector. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful figure. It comes with a great package, okay? They, they honored the blister packaging, but they still kept their own window box style. They show you the different figures that are available to purchase. Inside, there is a comic. It is the old comic, a reprint of the old comic that came with the Kenner figures. Beautiful box. Beautiful figure. It's a translucent plastic. Uh, the light shines through really nice, along with the darker um, browns. Here's a browns. It's definitely not a black. It's a, it's a U of brown. This piece is removable, the dome. So you can see some really nice details here in the headpiece. The jaw opens, and I think that's retractable, but you're really, it's definitely retractable with a really nicely done inner jaw. All right, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful figure. There's no other way to put it. It's gorgeous. But that's where my enjoyment of this figure stops. The plastic that they used is so soft. It's so soft, I feel like I'm gonna break this thing. So I'm gonna lay it down, pull this up just a bit so we can get into the details. The head moves left and right. The arms, you get a full 360 at the shoulder. They come out this much. You've got the bicep swivel that NECA does at the elbow and a double jointed elbow, but it's so soft, I'm afraid I'm gonna snap it. The fingers bend up and down, they rotate at the wrist, and the wrist goes up and down as well. Open these up. You've got full 360 degree rotation at the chest. It comes up and down, all right? it's it's. It's just so thin. It, it feels like it feels like when you leave a, a figure in the car too long and you can bend it in ways it never bent before. You've got a thigh swivel. You've got a kick this far back, a kick this far forward, a soft ratchet at the knee, and a double bend there. This piece has no articulation, it's stationary. And the feet go up and down and a little bit of left to right. Uh, this is a figure that you're gonna pose one time and never play with it again. I, I'm positive on that because you can't fucking play with it. It's so soft. I'm gonna try to pose it real quick see what we can do here. What do we have to work with? Well, the head bends up. The head does bend up. It's very tight. I mean, that's him posed. This is a beautiful figure and it's gonna look beautiful on your shelf but you're not gonna enjoy playing with it because the plastic is so soft. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. The paint is fucking phenomenal. The translucent is phenomenal, but it just doesn't feel strong. I got mine from Target. If you can't find yours at Target, check out Classic Plastics Toy Store and check out Kane's Collectibles. Those are two very reliable online NECA resources. You can always check out my sponsors, Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles, down in the link below. Thank you to my patrons. Without you, uh, without your support, I don't know if I'd be able to keep doing figures outside of my normal realm. So thank you very much. As always, give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.